It's hard to explain to your children when they're asking you, what happened to daddy? You know, and why would someone want to kill daddy? Tonight, the widow of Glenn Foster Jr. shares her painful struggle as she tries to get answers about her husband's death. Good evening, I'm Karen Swenson. And I'm Cherise Gibson. It's been nearly a month since former New Orleans St. Glenn Foster Jr. died in police custody in Pickens County, Alabama. He died after an incident in the jail two days following his arrest for speeding. An independent autopsy conducted by the family hired medical team revealed that Foster died by strangulation, showing signs of neck compressions. But the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency's State Bureau of Investigation, which is handling the case, has yet to send an official cause of death. In an exclusive interview with J.D. Career, Foster's widow says she and the rest of her family are at a standstill waiting for answers. It was a month ago that Pamela Foster got a phone call she desperately wanted to believe was a mistake. And I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I don't know how I made it home. I was screaming in the car, you know, just hoping it wasn't true. She was told her husband, Glenn Foster Jr., died in police custody in a rural Alabama jail. I wanted to drive right back to see I needed to see because I wanted it to be a mistake that it wasn't him that it was someone else that it was a mistake. Police say Foster led them on a chase after they tried to pull him over for speeding. The chase ended after police laid down a spike strip blowing out the car's tires and bringing it to a stop. Foster was then taken into custody. He was then taken to the Pickens County Jail run by Sheriff Todd Hall. Foster died two days after his initial arrest. The family says what happened over those two days is a mystery. We don't have any more answers. And how does that make you feel? Stuck. You know, it, it's hard to grieve. It's, it's hard to explain to your children when they're asking you, what happened to daddy? You know, and why would someone want to kill daddy? Because I don't know. That's all I can tell them, I don't know. Multiple attempts have been made to get the official cause of Foster's death. But according to the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency State Bureau of Investigation, due to the case being under investigation, no further information has been made available to the family, their legal team, or WWL. This ongoing delay is why the family says they hired their own medical team to do an independent autopsy. The results showing Glenn Jr. died by strangulation with signs of neck compressions. How did that impact you in that moment? to find out what the independent autopsy revealed? It answered what we were already suspecting, um, but it did not make me feel any better. I was angry and I felt helpless because it's one thing to die from natural causes, but it's another thing for you to be deprived of life. Pamela says this has been one of the worst months of her life, but there has been one silver lining. It's how the people of New Orleans have responded in her family's time of need. And it gives me comfort. Um, makes me want to stay here. You know, sometimes things happen and, and you want to run away. Um, but I can feel the love from people that he knew. Waiting and grieving are about the only things Pamela has been able to do. Until more information is made available, she doesn't have many more options. J.D. Career, Eyewitness News. And you can see a longer version of J.D.'s exclusive interview with Pamela Foster on the WWL-TV YouTube channel.